Hello and greetings. This is Brother Minister. Thanks for coming to the next video. The title of this video, Whose Slave Are You? Yeah, that's right. You. Whose slave are you? Either you are a slave to sin or you are a slave to righteousness. And I was just talking a little bit about sin. Sin is an evil, cruel master who controls its subject every move. Sin enslaves people, great and small. Sin causes you to smoke, to inject, to or into hell, even to drink things that are, would defile your body, to defile your temple. And it body doesn't even belong to you. In First Corinthians chapter three, sixteen and seventeen, I'm paraphrasing it, but it tells you that you are not your own. Your body belongs to the Holy Ghost, whose temple that you are. If any man any, any, anyone, including brother minister, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. <laughs> Not the devil. Him shall God destroy. Keep on smoking your crack. Keep on drinking all this liquor and vile drugs and methamphetamines and all this other, I don't even know all of the drugs, but it defiles the temple and God will destroy you. Wait a minute. Whose slave are you? <laughs> yeah, you. Sin is the one that causes a young mother to be, to go and to see an abortionist and to shed innocent blood. Sin is also the one responsible for that young dad to be, to support that, and pay for it, and contribute to making. The uh, making the cause of it adultery, fornicating, rape, all this lust, perversion, sin is what causes so much death. Don't you know it? You know what? And by the way, and if you have ever done that, you have contributed to it, supported it, an abortion, or uh, you have shed innocent blood, you know what? You have shed that blood. There is even forgiveness for you, my friend, because the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Never let anyone tell you anything different. You can find repentance and mercy and grace and forgiveness for your sins. Glory be to God. Sin is what causes men to have sexual encounters with other men. It causes women to have sexual encounters with other women. Oh my goodness. Sin is the motivating force, the driving master behind every evil, nefarious work. You know, let me tell you something. In the Garden of Gethsemane, when the Lord Jesus Christ prayed to the Father and said, This bitter cup could pass. They said, no, let your will be done, not my will. Do you know what was in that bitter cup? First of all, the Lord Jesus Christ was not afraid to die because he knew that he had all power in heaven and in earth and beneath the earth. He knew that, okay? Do you know what was in that bitter cup? Every lie, every rape, every murder, every evil, nefarious work, Every witchcraft, every sorcery, every uh, all false cults, you name it. The oppression of nations, um, drive-by shooting, home invasion, murder, all type of evil, nefarious work. Every lustful act, every filthy, vile uh, act of sin and corruption was all in that bitter cup which he had to drink okay Satan never had any type of victory over the Lord Jesus Christ the Lord Jesus Christ defeated Satan in the mountain when he was led up to be tempted by the devil he defeated him as a man he defeated him remember he was God incarnate and in human flesh but you know what that bitter cup also what came with that bitter cup 
And the Lord Jesus Christ knew it, that he would be separated from his heavenly father for the very, very first time. Because God is so holy. God cannot look upon sin. So God had to turn away from that filthy, vile sight. And the Lord Jesus Christ did it in his humanity. Though he was God of God and man of man, he did it because he wanted us, you and I, to be free from sin. Okay? Make no mistake about it. You know what? I'm about to go into the scripture now. And it is going to get very good. You're going to find out whose slave are you. Because you are a slave to something or someone. This is Brother Minister. Come to the next video. Remember the title of this video? Whose slave are you? That's right. You. Come to the next video. This is Brother Minister. Saying peace.